my god. I think a cop is giving this guy on a bike a ticket. Is he giving you a ticket? I don't know, man. I'm what? running a red light. What law did you bring? <laughs> a red light? Apparently, like, the biker had just turned red. The bike thing. And what, they're just posted up to pull people Dude, in? Dude, he just posted up. He's, like, waiting here for people. Good luck! Oh, man. That poor guy. Look at those good boys. Is this closed or can I skate through? I didn't look at it at all. Look at actual fire. You know what happened? Uh, I think it's a vacant building that's under on fire. Oh, well, it's definitely a fire. You know how a smell can like evoke a memory like nothing else, like when you smell a food that makes you think of how your mom cooked for you or you smell a perfume or a cologne that makes you think of a past lover. Whenever I smell like a burning building in New York City, it, it, it brings back these memories that for the, how you doing? It brings back these memories that are completely dormant in my brain of being here on September 11th. I mean, it's not like traumatic or anything, but they are memories that I'd prefer not to confront and when I smell like a whenever there's a fire in the city it just like just hits me honey I saw um, like a big fire by house in and like West Side Highway like a proper fire oh really fire shots like smoke the whole thing that never happens Say that again. Come on, say it again. Say it. Are you excited that we can have another baby? I'm just saying we could if we wanted to, but we don't have to. Candace had a doctor's appointment this morning where the doctor said, and I quote, you're a prime candidate for a third baby, right? Candace, how's Billy going? Do you have anything that um, you want to, do you have anything about Billy that you want to pitch me on? Any new products? Any um, any new T-shirts? Okay, good talk, good talk. I'm gonna go. Did you see the um, when I made the video like two days ago where we cut in half my my diamond play button? Diamond play button cut in half. All right, there's a joke in that video where Lincoln, the kid that I made the video with, he like pretends to drop it and it smashes. It's heavy and it's like solid something, so wow. careful with it. And that's what we're gonna use the cut too. Dude, 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 careful, careful, careful. What do you do? So to do that gag, we made a diamond play button out of um, like fake glass. This is what they use in the movie. I think it's actually sugar. It's supposed to shatter super easily. So I thought it would be funny right now to shatter this last piece. See, it only broke in half. <laughs> All right, ready? It just turned to powder. My whole studio is covered. Uh, okay, next up in the show, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a really long time, but I've been meaning to do, and I need to make a, uh, a regular part of the show again, purely for 
purely for logistical reasons, I'm bringing back an old segment to uh, to the old show here. Mail time. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Let me just. Uh, the Free Hugs Project is something that this guy named Ken, he started something called the Free Hugs Project and it's like, it's just about set, spreading love and positivity. Keep doing the most good, Ken. Yeah. Dear Casey, please find and close an early Christmas gift for you and the newest. Okay. It's a hand-painted New York City Christmas tree ornament. Thank you, Tom. This is beautiful. Uh, dear Casey, not sure if you're familiar with Biltong. Do you know my wife is South African? I love Biltong. Biltong, it's sort of like beef jerky, but it's not as salty as so you eat more of it. And it's a little bit chewier. It's very good Biltong. Great stuff. Dear Casey, I'm a 19-year-old college student. I just started selling marine ball terrarium. Sincerely, Zach. Dear 19-year-old Zach, I wish you the best of luck with um with your new business. Dear Casey, this is a little present to thank you for your endless amount. Marimo Gatti. Marimo, thanks for this book. You know, Franny loves Nintendo and she loves TV, but we still read to her every single day. This is simply a VHS tape that says, play me. You know, whoever sent this to me, most people don't have VHS players at the ready. That kind of technology is really antiquated. It sort of went out about a dozen years ago. Fortunately, I'm not most people. Hey Casey, my name is Andrea, and man, do I got some stories for you. This is actually the fourth VHS tape I'm sending you, or I've been sending you, to run. Andreas, I super appreciate the VHS tape. I will finish watching that and I'll follow up on it. Right now, I've got to stay focused on mail time or I'm never going to get through all those boxes. It says 368 on it. Here at Panda Packaging, we're an eco friendly company trying to change the world to do things. Bamboo straws. Oh! I appreciate this. I saw that picture going viral of the little sea turtle with the straw stuck in his nose. Thank you very much, Panda, for sending me these straws. Halloween was two weeks ago. I hope there's not a kitten in here. Hi, Casey. Love your channel. Halloween is approaching. If you can't decide what to do for Halloween, I have a cool mask for you and Candace. Enjoy. We import these masks. Serge, I appreciate you sending this by. I wish I had opened this before Halloween. It would have been a lot of fun. Go check out Serge's company called uh, Magic of Venezuela. Phew. That mask would have given Francine nightmares for months. Casey, we're a huge fan of your video. I thought you'd enjoy our newest product of the same name in the comments. We thought you'd be a match. Casey Sound. Wait, the, it's literally called Casey Sound? It's called Casey. First of all, great name for a company. And I really look forward to checking out your... That's, not, that's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice little... Oh, you, you put an Amazon Echo in it, and then it's bamboo, so it's not so ugly and it's beautiful. Casey Sound. When your sound needs a little Casey. It says 368, but it's, it's addressed to me. <sighs> Dear Casey, we're Abby Grange. Rock band from South Africa. Hey! Casey, I just want to take a moment to think of what's here. Highest quality shaving supplies. William Watery. William, your handwriting is incredible. Thank you for these shaving supplies. I feel like I live in the 1800s and I need to grow one of those mustaches. Last package! Candace, uh oh. We thought you would enjoy this all the best of the new baby K. Love your love your jewelry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this for Candace. She's not here right now. So cute. Okay, that concludes this episode, this portion of this episode of mail time. Look. All that. This is what I still have to get through. This episode would be three hours long if I went through all these boxes. But I'll do it, and I'm gonna get through all these. Just not right now. I gotta go home. Tomorrow here on the show, I gotta bring you fully up to speed with 368. We've been doing some big stuff. I haven't updated you in a while. Spoiler alert, everything we're up to, amazing. See you tomorrow. We dance face to face to a sexy good song. Get into the groove. Feel the perfect connection. If we were alone, I would get
get along 